Part 3 Right in front of you sits a rather sturdy wooden bench. You're not sure, but there might be a way to reach it using your feet. Realizing you'll have to hook your foot around the leg of the stool to pull it closer, you cautiously work to allow the maximum amount of chain to be passed toward your right foot. Pausing between each cautious motion, you watch to see if the guard twitches at the metallic clinking of the chain's rustle. Having achieved what you believe to be the most slack, you begin to slide your foot towards the bench's leg. Finally getting a good hook, you inch it closer. That first pull is all you need to realize this was a bad idea. The bench, though light, screeches with an obnoxiously loud nails on the chalkboard sound. You release the bench, curling back into a ball as the guard shoots to his feet in alarm. Still half sleep, he rests his hands on his blade before dropping back onto the cot. Rubbing his head, the guard looks over the room, his eyes stopping at each point as he looks you up and down. Seeming to not notice their previous movement, he lays back, turning his back to you, and falls asleep. After waiting to hear his snores, you sit back up, again, cautiously, looking at your intended prize. Analyzing the pathway that you pulled it, you realize there is a potential to move the bench another way. However, there is a raised stone that might be able to allow the bench to fall to the side, dropping the buckler you so desire. The buckler could then roll your direction, or it may just clatter to the ground out of reach. You again have a decision to make. Do you try to pull it over in one hard yank, banking on the inertia of the bench's stop to send the buckler flying towards you? Or do you try to turn the bench on its side and recover the buckler that way, hoping that it rolls your direction and there's enough time to hide it before your captor notices. If you choose to yank it forward in hopes that it will fly into your hands, move to part seven. If you choose to knock the bench on its side in hopes that the buckler will roll towards you, then move to part eight.